suspect that it is this peculiar position which we are with this very hair line uh, majority in, in the parliament that has given rise to all of these disputations and people making claims that are completely beyond the, 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 the teachings of the constitution and our understanding. But now that the Supreme Court has pronounced, I think what is required is for the nation, all of us, to get it, to, to put that matter behind us and to do and to do our work. To suggest that somehow or other the Parliament is beyond the scrutiny of the, of, of, of the Supreme Court when issues of interpretation of the, is to suggest that Parliament is a law in itself. The whole principle of judicial review was developed by the judges, both in America and in England, to be able to check the activities of Parliament. Indeed, in our own country, the first major constitutional case which had looked at the work of Parliament was in the case to fall in the Attorney General, where the act of Parliament, the decision of the Parliament to uh, subject the then Chief Justice, the late Frederick Kwesi Apalu, to a vetting process in Parliament, had been expressly forbidden by the Constitution. And that is the reason why Dr. Makutufo, the late Dr. Makutufo, unfortunately, late, took the matter to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court made it quite clear that all the activities of all the institutions of our republic that impugn, that violate the Constitution are subject to the powers of the court and to the declarations of the court. Me, I want to repeat it, President, head of the executive, I am subject to the Constitution and to law. I cannot set myself above it.